Hi, welcome to my new video. So um, I've got a big crack in the uh, in screen of my BMW E90. So uh, I contacted the insurance company and they've sent round um, auto windscreens. So step one is to uh, open the bonnet and remove the um, pollen filter and the two caps either side, the left and right. So now what they're doing is they've taken off the windscreen wipers and now they're removing the lower trim which the pollen filter connects to. Here's the new window, looks the same as the other one, are a lot cleaner and with no cracks in. So he's cutting away the bonding here after he's removed the trim on the side. So here I've got my uh, GPS aerial and my DAB aerial removing the bottom trim it's all quite muddy underneath and now they've got some wire they're running around to disconnect the glass from the the bond the previous bonding the original bonding it's like a bit it's like a massive cheese wire and again he's pulling it through and the other guy is protecting the inside of the car from the wire And out it comes. There we go, there's the crack. Smash! So now it's exposed. You can see all the um, tickets displayed for parking that's gone missing down the side. There's no pens or £10 notes. So there's a new screen with some suckers on there so they can carry it easier. My dash cam's hanging down, so is my mirror. There's my uh, DAB aerial blowing in the wind. Let's get some adhesive on there. We can bond the glass to the car. So now the adhesive's on there. It's ready to put the new glass in. all the way around in a continuous bead and get them suckers on so they can uh, pick the glass up and squidge him on Get those suckers back on so uh, the glass doesn't shift as it dries. They told me not to move the car for the first 30 minutes and uh, don't do anything like car washes or anything for the next 24 hours. But I'm going to leave it parked up for 24 hours and then it should be all alright then. I'm not going to reattach the dash cam either because the wire runs very close to the glass. Might get a bit of beading stuck to it or anything like that. Just leave it all wait for it to dry and there we go now just uh, putting the trim back and uh, refit all the window wipers put the uh, pollen filter or the cabin filter back in we should be ready There go, windscreen wipers are going to go back in in a minute. Just tying all the trim down, making sure that pollen filter's nice and tight. And the trim on the passenger side. And there we go, it's all done. Much more sh shiny glass, no cracks in it. Window wipers were good, so they didn't need replacing. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.